Have you ever found yourself in a situation where having a reliable light source could make all the difference? Whether navigating the trails at night, responding to an emergency, or ensuring your safety, the right flashlight is crucial. That's why today we're unboxing the Warrior X4 from Olight, a beacon of reliability in the tactical world. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. In the box, you're going to get the Warrior X4, a holster, a USB-A to USB-C charging cable, and the manual. And it all comes in Olight's standard high quality packaging. If we just take a quick overview of the light, it has a very deep reflector. It has a steel aggressive bezel, large heat sink fins, a metal charging collar with a USB-C and charging indicator. It has a rubber collar and makes it actually quite comfortable to use. And then it has a all metal two position tail switch the light has been drop tested at two meters. The USB-C port is waterproof, even when the charging collar is open and the light is IPX8 rated. The light weighs 8.8 .8 ounces or 250 grams. It is just over one and a half inches in diameter at its thickest point and just over five and three quarters inch long or 39 and a half millimeters by 149 millimeters. The light comes with a proprietary Olight 21700 5000 milliamp hour 3.6 volt battery. The light can be charged via the USB-C or through the tail switch. If charging with USB-C, it takes roughly three and a half hours to fully charge. And if charging with the MCC magnetic cable, it takes roughly five hours to charge to full. There is an LED indicator on the side that'll show the battery percentage left. If it is green, it is greater than 60% full. If it is orange, that is 10 to 60% full. If it is red, it is five to 10%. And if it's blinking red, it's less than 5% charge remaining. All right, if we look at the beam pattern for this light, it has a very strong hotspot and it has a nice spill out from there. The light is easy to operate. It has a two-way tail switch. So half pressing will bring on the 300 lumen low mode. Full pressing will activate high mode. So the light can be configured in two modes, regular and tactical. In regular mode, half pressing is 300 lumen and that'll run for eight hours. And full pressing is high mode, which is 2600 lumen for three minutes, a thousand lumens for 140 minutes, then 300 lumens for an additional 20 minutes. In tactical mode, half pressing is medium, which is is 1000 lumen for 150 minutes, then 300 lumens for 20 minutes. Full pressing in tactical mode activates the strobe, which is 2600 lumen at 13 hertz for 330 minutes. To switch between the two modes is fairly easy. All you need to do is half press the light, unscrew the tail cap, and screw it back in and it'll switch the mode that it's in. So since I was in regular mode, I'm now in tactical mode. So half pressing gives me a thousand lumen mode. Strobe warning, if I full press, it'll turn on the strobe. I will switch it back by half pressing, unscrewing the cap, screwing it back in. And now I am back in regular mode, which will be 300 lumens and 2600 lumens. When operating the light, it does allow for a momentary mode. If you continue to press the button, so if I half press and continue to hold, as soon as I let go, the light will turn off. And this works for both low and high modes. If you activate the light into the half press mode, you can fully press to activate the full press mode. To go back to the lower mode, you will have to turn the light off and then half press again. The included holster does fit nice on a belt. It has a nice large loop with a backstop so it won't come off. It works well on molly webbing, a backpack strap, or on a plate carrier. The holster does require that the charging collar be closed for it to fit in, as there is a, a clip where it will go right to the bottom there. If the light is in the holster, it still can be activated and can still be charged with the magnetic MCC cable. The light does have protection that if it were on a surface and you try to activate it, it will not turn on. But they have improved it where if you do turn it on and you do move it close to something, it will stay on. 
All right, let's jump to some outdoor footage so you can admire the Warrior X4's full brightness. This is the low setting. You'll see that tree line is 100 yards or 100 meters away. And that is, there is high. As you saw in the outdoor footage, the light is very bright and very capable. Here's a quick temperature test I did with the light on. You see the maximum temperature got to about 122 degrees Fahrenheit. I do also use the Warrior X4 as a weapon mounted light using two optional accessories. I use the Olight XWM02 magnetic weapon mount and the SROD-7 remote switch. So to get this to mount into the mount, we need to take off the rubber ring. Now this can be a bit tricky at first because again the diameter of the light is the maximum that this mount will hold. So to get it to fit in the mount uh, there is a little notch that you can unscrew the screw into while I'll still hold it. The light will then fit into the top loop. You then screw it in and hold it all the way down to the bottom. So hold it to the bottom and up. You can able to close it and it will fit in there and lock in. The mount does have a very strong magnetic base, so it'll stick to a barrel or any other carry you have on your rifle. The presser switch clicks on magnetically and then locks in and it will not come off. And the pressure switch has two buttons, one for low and one for high. And it is rail compatible. I've done several training classes with the setup on my AR and I was delighted with the light and mounts performance. If you need a high quality tactical flashlight for a weapon mount light, patrols, hunting, outdoor camping, or household use, the Olight Warrior X4 would be a good choice. If you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe for more EDC reviews and commentary. Please like and share the video as it helps a small channel like mine. Join the conversation below in the comments section to share what you are looking for in a tactical flashlight and your thoughts on the Warrior X4. To learn more about the Olight Arcplex, watch this video here.